hardware that I've come across that I believe will complement some of the Carlson software products we have for civil engineering, land surveying, as well as 3D site management, 3D machine control. And the products I'm talking about would be grade supervisor, or even grade in an indicate dozer or landfill compactor, Heartbeat GS and Truck Pro GS, two products that will be coming shortly. Truck Pro GS being a haul truck monitoring system for construction and mining. And Heartbeat GS will be an asset tracking package that will let all the machines know when a visitor or a, a site truck uh, is on site and there are proximity warnings between the machines, etc. But also uh, for land surveying, Carlson had introduced a couple of years back a product called Field, Carlson Field. It's a very powerful package. I believe it was a little ahead of its time because the hardware really wasn't there attractive enough to be in the field with the battery power, processing power, form factor, etc. And I believe this uh, new Panasonic will breathe new life into Carlson Field. So I brought, I've got one with me. <clears throat> this is the unit here. And I've got a touch screen. I've got a stylus that comes in the side that but the, works well with your fingers. And it has a full keyboard. Now what makes this thing unique is that it uses the new Intel Atom processor. Low power, low heat, and we'll talk about the battery life of this unit. It's quite impressive. But it operates at 1.33 gigahertz, has a gigabyte of memory, and a 16 gigabyte solid state drive. There's a 32 gigabyte option. So uh, the Toughbook's quite famous for durability, uh, compact power, and this unit really takes it to a new level. So let's step through some of the expansion ports and wireless capabilities, etc. The latest in wireless connectivity. It has an 802.11 uh, wireless board built inside A, B, G and N compatible. There's a Bluetooth board that is Microsoft, so very compatible on the Bluetooth end. And also there's a 3G option inside the unit, so you can get uh, air card or wireless service over the cellular network from Singular AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint. The uh, ports have these caps on the outside, so I can drop this down. So in addition to the 16 gigabyte internal solid state drive we talked about earlier, uh, in the 32 gig option, you have a, a, an SD card slot. I know eight gigs are available, probably getting cheaper and, and bigger by the day. There's also a um, high def sound output. Not sure what we could use that for in the uh, machine controller or civil engineering market, but uh, nonetheless, be good for training. Uh, have online or onboard uh, training uh, help systems. There's also a USB 2.0 port. Close and push up. And also, uh, the power port is here. Close and push up. So Let's talk a moment about the screen. I don't know how well you can see this. I've, I've actually turned down the brightness so it wouldn't be so much glare as you can see if I turned straight on. It's quite bright. But I've tested this in the sunshine and it works great. Very, very sunlight readable display. So the screen works great. I can scroll up and down as you see. It's just like being on the web I, because I am on the web. I'm connected to my wireless network here in my office. I'm going to slide the stylus back. Again, I can touch this just fine with the fingers. If you'll look in the back, I've got two batteries. One's here, one's here. I'm going to press this button down, pull the cap off, push the battery down, and remove it. As you see, I still have power. So I have two hot swappable batteries. The specifications say nine hours off of a full charge on the two batteries. Perhaps if you're Bluetooth connected to a GNSS receiver or through the 3G card to a, a VRS network, may bring the battery down if the display's up, up high. But they do make a charging system for your truck or, or job site trailer that will charge additional batteries. So you can have a never ending hot swappable flow of batteries works quite well. And it is a 12 volt system if you were to put this into a uh, indicate machine or pickup truck. The next thing I want to show you is that being online, I can also download, for example, Grade Supervisor, install it, and actually run podcasts on our website and have full training right on the unit. So I'm going to go ahead and download this 
install the software, show you some podcasts, and be back I've with that in just a the second. software over the wireless network into the Panasonic U1. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you the podcast. Uh, this is streaming over. This podcast lesson discusses briefly. If you can hear that, okay? Slope feature. This is download streaming over the wireless network. Put on a set of headphones, and you can hear yours truly doing podcasts on training on the particular grade supervisor product. So now let's operate the software, load that up, and take a quick look. I've loaded grade supervisor, and I just want to show you some of the screens. I'm not going to go through a whole lot of the software here, but I'm running in simulation mode, and I'm going to touch the screen views, and as you can see, I'm able to swap the screen views quite easily. The pan works very well on this. I can zoom in, zoom out. And let's scroll over till we get to the 3D view. Cut fill, great uh, for scrapers and new operators. Light bars and steering lights, virtual grade rod. And here's my 3D view. So not a little washed out on the video, but it does pan and move quite well. So the processing power, certainly uh, good enough. Thank you for joining me for this video blog. I hope I was able to provide you with some information that will help you be productive and grow your business. If there's anything I can ever do for you, please don't hesitate to drop me an email. And thanks to Panasonic for making a great piece of hardware. Until next time.